Life can be scary and anything can happen. So today in this video, I'm going to go over Roblox YouTubers who almost died in real life. Welcome back to Roblox Earth. Let's get into the video. The Crew. Funny and the crew took a trip to Los Angeles. For their trip, they decided to rent a super cool mansion on Airbnb. On Airbnb, the mansion looked really awesome and they were excited to go there and stay there for their trip. When they arrived, the mansion did not look anything like what they saw on the Airbnb app. And no, not in a good way. Oof, these were the first warning signs that something fishy is happening. The mansion was a mess in some places. There were old straw wrappers and other things still lying around everywhere in the mansion. There were missing pieces for some of the game boards too. You can imagine how terrible this is, especially when they are paying top dollar to be in such a huge mansion. So far, things were not going to plan. It was time to sleep, and this is when things continue to get even more crazy. As one of the crew members went to sleep, they closed the window that was in their room. As they were trying to fall asleep, she said she was looking at the window through the curtain and it felt like she was being watched. What? That's crazy. Imagine how scary that must have been. Oh, but if you guys thought that was creepy, then you're not ready for what came next. Another one of the crew members went to sleep and they took a longer time to fall asleep. Eventually, she ended up hearing a beeping sound. Oh no, it sounds like trouble again. Apparently, it will beep a couple times and stop and then do the beeping again. This is where it heats up, quite literally. She decided to get out of bed and when she finally investigated what on earth was happening downstairs, as soon as she got downstairs, she found a whole lot of smoke getting out of a locked door. It's a mystery that was behind that door and why it was locked, but it was, and it was freaking burning. There are so many questions, but the most important one is how that room started burning. So in a frantic rush, she woke up all the rest of the crew members to tell them, yo, the house is burning. Of course, it seemed so crazy that everyone thought it was a prank, but they would be in for a surprise. They all had to run out and they called the firefighters to put out the fire. Luckily, they were all okay and the fire was able to be put out. But weirdly, they were not told what on earth caused the fire. That remains a mystery till this day. So their B&B operation was a complete fail. It failed in an incredible way, so they ended up having to take all their stuff and they were moved to a hotel. Oh man, that must be super weird. They probably wanted the mansion so they would have their own space and private property to stay in and make all the noise they want. But now they had to stay in a hotel. A lot of credit needs to be given to the crew member who actually stayed up. If it wasn't for her, I don't think anyone would have heard the beeps and noticed the fire until it was too late. Like we said, at least they were all okay and no one was harmed. I guess they have a crazy story to tell for many years to come. Biggest taco ever. Ever. Look at it. Look. Poke. A funny situation turned out to be very alarming for Poke. After returning to his house with a few friends, Poke sees suspicious activities around his house and suspects foul play is involved. He and his friends check out the house and there seem to be suspicious activities all over. Many friends even see silhouettes of people. After inspection, someone seems to be in the garage, a head even pops up through the door. When an attempt to open it was made, after a friend daringly opens the door, Poke finds out that it was just a prank pulled by friends, so he laughs it off. His reaction would have certainly been different if it was somebody else. He's going all out. He's going all out. And guys, those pictures that I was sent. Dan TDM. Moving around his kitchen, Dan TDM encounters an experience that is certainly weird, to say the least. He was heading from his kitchen to his garden when he fell. He tripped over something and fell, hitting his hand on a kitchen counter midway. His hand seemed to hurt after this ordeal, and after a few days, he found out his hand was broken. Unexpected to say the least, if he hadn't had his hand checked out, he might have been taken to the hospital in a stretcher because of infection. Yo, he's got like a... No! Oh, wait, did I get a kill? Or is it when, like, any of your team gets a kill? Preston. Preston struggled with a problem in his tonsils. He claimed that his tonsils grew to a golf ball size, which is quite big for tonsils if you didn't know. Preston exclaims that if he hadn't gotten his tonsils checked out by a doctor, he would have been in major trouble. He exclaims he would have died if he caught something as little as a flu if he left the tonsils unchecked. Thankfully, he took timely action and got surgery done. He has recovered nicely and is sounding clearer than ever. I, uh, bad gummit. <laughs> That's fine, alright? They want to set the server on hard mode, I'm okay with that. But let's bust out of This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure that you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.